Hey everybody, welcome to a new set of videos. Corey and I were talking, you know, what do we want to do? There's so much content that's on the internet today. When we first started doing videos, there wasn't that much. We we're kind of, I think we we're kind of, you know, in the beginning of it because we came up with a, a proprietary way to, you know, download the videos and um, they were pretty, you know, all kind of packaged and it was pretty cool. Um, they're still available. Just go to PortfolioArtSchool.com uh, or Sheldon'sArtAcademy.com and you can get them. And that's what this is going to be. And it's going to be kind of a selfless, uh, you know, arrogant marketing of the videos also as we move forward. But we're trying to figure out what to do. And Corey came up with the idea of this Fundamentals Crash Course. And I thought, you know, let's do that because I get a lot of people into our school and they're just lost. A lot of them have already graduated from school and they're just lost and they don't know what to do. You know, where do you start? So we're going to work our way kind of straight through. No scripts, no notes, no PowerPoints. This is what we do every day. And I'm just going to guide you along and get you started. Um, for the people who come to my school, they get a lot of mentoring, a lot of one, and they're not all local. We have, uh, we have one student from, um, she's from Jersey. She's wonderful. Uh, we have another student studying with us and he's, uh, you know, zooming in from uh, India. So you've got New Jersey and India, and then you got local people all zooming in at the same time. And then you got the people that are located there. So there's no excuse to not be there because we can do that and we price it so that you can afford it. But for the people out there who can't, who have that burning desire to want to live their dreams, that's what I want to go for. Okay, so that's what I have in mind is this, this person who's always wanted to do this, but can't seem to find the general direction without the cycle babble without all of that and I'll describe that to you as we go so if you can count to three you're going to do well with these videos and I'm going to do my best not to lean forward and put my head in here so what do I mean by three so we're going to go circle cube and cylinder. And what do I mean by psychobabble? There's so much of that going on right now. And, you know, I'm scouring the internet. You know, I just relax and when I go to bed at night, I just look at all the social media and stuff. The, the giving psychiatric advice, um, I work in forensics. I hang out with psychiatrists. We're not allowed to do that. We're gonna get, people are going to get in trouble. Um, I mentor, but, you know, at a certain percent, which is pretty low, I'm getting the people that I'm listening to, to the right professional people who can guide them. So my opinion is if you're spending a lot of time worrying about your, how you see yourself or your lack of motivation or you know stuff like that you're not studying enough you shouldn't have time now if it's chemical obviously you know go get help but if it's just that you're want somebody to motivate you choose a different career because if you're totally motivated and fired up then uh you don't have time for anything but to study. So the advice I gave my students recently is before you can start getting involved in all this psycho babble stuff, study head drawing, figure drawing, perspective, landscape composition, value and color as the Renaissance teaches as I teach it, as Vilpu teaches it, 
then if you have any energy at the end of the day, then you can get depressed. Uh, if you are bummed out, if you are depressed, if you are looking at your work and hate it, you're doing it right. <laughs> I mean, nobody likes their work. Everybody looks at their work and goes, oh, I got to get better. Okay, so we'll get into a little bit more than that as we go. But we're going to go right to it and uh, kick some butt. If you can count to three, you're going to do well. You have three shapes. Sphere, cube, and cylinder. But you don't necessarily use them. What do you mean? These are just as your guide. You use these as a guide, but you don't have to necessarily draw out the circle and then the cylinder and then the, you know, the cube. This is if you're in trouble when you're doing your drawing. So what do you do? Well, we count to three again. We say this, which is a term that I came up with, which is, these are posing curves, but I always try to come up with a silly way to teach so the students can remember. And it takes a long time to be that ridiculous. You know, one lecture could take months to kind of put together. And the students think I just did it, you know, right on the spot. But, you know, most of them are stolen from movies and songs and stuff. So we came up with this term, Cal State Cool, because I was teaching at Cal State Northridge, and I wanted it to be remembered. So if you could remember Cal State Northridge, Northridge was a really cool school, Cal State Cool, and now it's actually being used, and I think it's funny as hell. Um, the other one, I figured, well, let the surfers have a way. So if we go like this, now we have... Cal State bitchin, dude, okay? So now we go like this, and this stops. So this will continue to guide your eye forever. It's like a pinball machine. The proper term is called opposing curves. But if you want to stop the eye, you put a straight. And I think that's kind of bitchin', so we'll call that bitchin'. The other, which is the most important, is the wave. And this is what's going to make your drawings come alive. So, again, three. One, two, three. Now, if I have a subject, something I'm drawing, and it's flat, and I pretend that my pencil is an ant, and it crawls across, this is called form. And this is called a cross contour. And that is a name I did not make up. Cross contours are your life. They're going to give all your drawings form. And what they're also going to do is they're going to give your drawings, you know, mass. So if the light's coming this way, I have form here, see? So this is crucial. So if I have a circle, okay, and I put form on there, that gives it form. And it's just three. It's like primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. It's pretty much everything is three. Now, where this comes down to some difficult stuff is in animation, you're always talking about the line of action. If you're lucky, you get an animator who's so good that they can get that pose to work within that line of action. You know, and you get that nice line of action going. But that's rare. And think there's really a thing called a one line of action but the wave that's everywhere see that that's your line of action so the line of action is actually thousands of lines 
of action. If you look at this composition here, you're going to see that this is a bunch of lines of action to guide the eye through the drawing. So let me draw for you. Let's see how long this has been. We are at 10 minutes. So this I'm going to press pause and then I'm going to come and do a demo for you. And that will be the first video for a series of really long series of videos because we're going to cover composition, design, head drawing, painting, everything. And I think this is our way of saying thank you to the world. And it's all available in our school. It's all available. So if you need more, just get the videos. And you can study at our school. And it'll be in the books. And I'll show you the books. I just forgot to bring some home. So let me press pause. And let me do a demo for you. All right, let's get started. And move ahead with the crash course. So the crash course, what we're doing is like, this is the fundamentals. This is how it applies. Fundamentals, application. And the application is directly to the job, uh, whether it's uh, storyboard, animation, illustration, commercial art, whatever you want to do. I think it's needed now. Um, I'm looking, I'm constantly on the internet and I get confused. And I've been doing this for 41 years. So, and I've been trained by the best. So let's just kind of see what we can do to get you to the point where you can hopefully meet your goals. And um, really, again, looking for the people who, you know, can't get to the art school, can't afford the art school. Our school is affordable, but maybe they can't get there and um, we'll get it going. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be the figure I'm going to draw from, and we're only going to use the wave and the cross contours, okay? Well, let's see how it goes. And I might even be able to put a little bit of a, a wash on top. So I'm going to use a fountain pen for all of you who are always into the, what pen are you using? Um, this is a, a very cool pen and it's a pelican. Pelicans are actually heirlooms so they're expensive um, but you can get them on you can find them like this one I found and it was uh, you know they were selling it out you know they were you know discontinuing it at the store so you can get a good sale. This is like a $500 pen I think I got it for a couple hundred dollars and uh, but I also knew, knew the owners. Okay, so here we go. Let's see where we're at. So we're here to here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use the wave. So I'm using a Pelican fountain pen. Drawing from a Rubens. And I'm just using the wave. So the big thing about line of action you know, I know, and it sounds good, but if you've been doing animation for 40, 50 years, you do get the animators who can really put down that beautiful line of action. And it's, a lot of times it works, but there's never like one line of action. So in this situation, you know, I can bring the head down here, the arm. And we're just kind of waving and Cal stay cool the whole time. Okay. And there you go. So take a look at that. That's your gesture. Okay. Everybody see it? I think the lighting is good now. Okay. So that is, that is your gesture. You can see my desk in. Tons of, tons of stuff. Okay, so we got that. Now what we're gonna do is just go in there and keep adding these waves, but putting in as many cross contours as you can. Cross contour is drawing. So if anybody tells you, you don't need to use cross contours, I would definitely question them on it have them demo for you, but I would be very careful because you're feeling the form. 
And just think of cross contour as a, an ant crawling over the form, okay? So now I'm feeling the rib cage. Rectus abdominis, where it turns, cross contour. So I'm drawing around the entire form. I'm drawing around the entire figure. I'm just only touching down where it turns. Wave, cross contour. Wave, cross contour. So that's kind of a rhythm to it. Around wave, right? And the wave can be the cross contour also. So you don't really need to put in, you know, all the total boxes and cylinders and all that stuff. You need to know they exist and you need to feel it. But you don't have to totally block it. What they're there for all that structure, the boxes and everything, is if you get in trouble. So right now I'm thinking of this as a cylinder coming over, coming down. Also what this will do for you is it'll keep the drawing fluid the entire time. So now go take a look at these really famous animator roughs and you'll see that most of them are just doing this in their roughs. And it works. I mean, they're famous, so. It works. Uh, the whole idea, again, what we want to do is we want to say, this is, these are the secrets. We want to finally put it out there. Say, okay, you know, we've been doing that at our school, you know, for, God, it's been like 20 years now. We've been around. And um, we just say, okay, this is, this is how you do it. We teach it to young kids, but the young kids grow up and become professionals. So it's really fun to see, you know, a student come back to visit and they're doing really well. You know, they're pros. I mean, they're famous, you know, and they started when they were just little kids, but they're learning professional level stuff, you know, like 10 years old. So there's no reason to unlearn stuff. Wrap around, boom, boom. So I'm thinking of the shapes, but I don't have to actually physically draw them all. Can I see how we're doing on time? Okay, it seems to be working. It's only eight minutes, we'll keep going.
So this is going to go away. So we go like that. See? Just the fact that these lines are going away like that brings it away from us. You know, box shape. Okay, now we're gonna do something totally different. This is all kind of going this way. So I'm gonna go from the pit of the neck here to the back of the ear, up over, and then down. So I go pit of the neck to the back of the ear, come up, find the corner of the head, come around, and that will give me the center line. And I'm gonna make the head go the opposite direction. So for this, I'm going to the, pretty much right to the box shape. So we're using that stuff you know, kind of when we're in trouble, you know, and then get right back to the wave. So I'm ch totally changing the pose. Rhythm chart. There we go. Head down. Boom, boom, boom. that we can go ahead and put in a wash and then you can go right to finish so let's try that Even when I put this in, I follow the same rule.
And there we go. So really, all we're using is the, the wave and the cross contour. Done. Pretty wild. So again, three shapes, sphere, cube, cylinder, three musical notes, Cal State Cool, Cal State Bitchin', and the wave, cross contours, and that's it, the wave is everything, okay, so we do the wave and then cross contours, and then we can have fun. All right, let's keep going. And I'll get this over to Corey. Okay, now we're in video two of the, you know, just talking about the wave. And again, I'm not going to be able to remember every video and you know, all the numbers. So, But right now we're at the beginning. So this is what we were covering. So go back to the first video. And it's all about the wave. Now let's do a revenge drawing just with the paper and a kind of a green polychrome. So it's just really good paper. And uh, just a, a nice green polychrome. I thought it'd be fun to do this drawing right here. See? That one. A little tiny thing. And just use it as a guide. Could be fun. Okay? So I'm going to lay, lay this drawing over here. Hopefully I'll still be able to see it. You just kind of get lost in a drawing. Maybe, you know, it'd be kind of fun just to Kind of put it over here. You will be able to see it. No, I won't be able to see it. I'm gonna lay it over here next to my lamp. Because most of the drawings done out of your head. Okay. So usually I have music on when I'm drawing, but I can't do that. Okay, so I can see the drawing over here. So again, the land sh the land should be the wave. You can go big if you want like that. So that's, if you're able to see it. Now we give it a try. Super light. The, the laying like this should be at the value of a half tone. And we'll get into what half tones are. When we get into tone, and I'll do some fun stuff, okay. But right now it's 10 minutes to 12 LA time. So here's the back. You start, when you're doing the drawing, start from different places all the time. Um, because when you're drawing, you're not going to, life doesn't work in a straight line. It's not perfect. And you might have a registration where, you know, if you're doing a drawing, then you know, it's registering to this on the table in the cartoon or the, the movie. And you got to have that registration. So you'll draw the whole figure starting from these fingers right here. 
So you always want to be focusing on on where the registration is. So I think in this situation, I'm going to start. Um, I can see I'm already changing the drawing because, you know, it's really going back now. So here's the basic concept of the drawing. It's this giant Cal State Cool, boom, boom, to here, to here. All right, so we got that. And then I'm going to pull this. I'm going to change this already. I think. Maybe, maybe not. We can go this way. So we're going to go like that, and then we'll come like that. There we go. So this is the most important part of the drawing. Because this is the story. I'm going to bring the head down here. So you see, it's a bunch of these, the waves, and then cross contours telling me what's going on. You come in this way, find the box, the corner, but just cross contour. You don't have to draw on the entire box. So that's your layout right there. Let's see if you can see it. So that's your initial gesture layout. And the gesture should tell you weight balance, proportion, who, what, why, now, and motivator. And that is discussed in the books and heavily on the videos. Come around here. Now we're gonna start putting in these waves, cross contours. This is going to go away like that. See the calcite core right there? Usually have music on. So notice that I don't every I don't just put down one line, you know, and that's what people, a lot of students say, have a hard time getting away from that because they're used to seeing it in animation. But even in animation, it's not just one line. We're constantly feeling around.
see how that works. It's like a thousand million billion cross contours. And that's all there is. Let's see, we're at 14 minutes. Let's just grab a section and put in some more. Most of this is being done out of my head. We can turn this into a female because I got big hips, smaller rib cage. So we'll go female. So we're really not putting in these like total box cylinder sphere shapes, but we're certainly thinking about them. It's just wave and cross contours. Pretty weird, huh? All right, let's see how long that's been. We are at 18 minutes, so I think that's pretty much about it. So here we go. We'll continue on with the fundamentals Crash course. How's that? That's what Corey came up with.